August 12th, 2020 was a sad day for me, um, a sad day for all offensive line coaches. We lost a great one. The great Howard Mudd passed away. When I think of Howard, I knew him most of my career. We were very close, and I learned a ton from him. And there's four takeaways from Howard uh, that I'd like to share. I think the hallmark trait of Howard was something I'm going to call creative brilliance. Um, Howard was able to make very difficult things simple. I talked to John Hayes once. John played tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs for Howard, and John was our tight end coach. And I said to John, I said, hey, tell me about Howard Mudd. And, and John said, well, if you ask Howard what time it is, uh, he could spend an hour and explain exactly the mechanisms of how the watch worked. Or he could tell you very simply what time it was. If you asked him how the watch works, he could still spend that hour explaining the mechanism, or he could explain it very briefly and succinctly in a way that you thought, wow, I, of course, why did I never think of that? I said to Howard once, I said, on the mid-zone play, how does a tackle block the defensive end? What's the first step, the second step, the third step? Where does he put his hands? What's his landmark? How does he finish? How's his back? He says, whoa. He said, just block him on the angle that you find him. What does that mean? He said, just turn and go block the guy. And how do you turn? Do you take a bucket step? Do you take a drop step? Do you take a lead step? How do you turn? He said, how do you open the door? I said, what do you mean, how do you open the door? You grab the door by the knob, and you turn it, and you open the door, and you walk through. That's how you block on the angle. You open the door and walk through. I thought it was brilliant. Howard had a passion to share the game that he loved. He would talk to anybody. I mean, it didn't matter your qualifications, if you were an NFL coach or if you were a peewee level coach. He loved to talk football, and he loved to share the game. And the hallmark of a generous man is he who gives forward. Howard gave forward. He was thankful for what he had in the past, and in his generosity, he gave forward to me and lots of people. And the techniques that he used were creative that he shared with others, and he changed the game. Many of the techniques, the jump, blocking on the angle, those kind of things, are Howard Mudd hallmarks. The third thing is Howard said, bet on yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Don't be afraid to be different. Embrace the difference but be yourself. When I, I coached to the Bengals for 23 years and they, they would come in a, a, a week before the end of the season and say, hey, we'd like you to come back next year. You got 24 hours to think about it. Well, what are you going to do? There were no jobs at that time, you know, and you had to take a job. And uh, he said, bet on yourself. So I did that my last year here and I had several opportunities and betting on yourself when you know who you are is the way to go. The final thing is that he loved coaches. He was one of the founders of the Mushroom Society, which is the organization of offensive line coaches who are fed in the dark and felt garbage, as we know. He was one of the founders of uh, the Coaches Association, the NFL Coaches Association, which is now folded, but at the time was very valuable and strong. He would come to the cool clinic every year and he gave presentations there selflessly. And he loved coaches, as I said. I was at a symposium one year with, with him down in Tampa Bay and several coaches were there. And one of the speakers that was speaking was Steve Pisacci, the, the owner of the Baltimore Ravens. And Steve got up and he talked about how coaching is the worst profession. He doesn't know why you do it. Why do you work so long hours? You get fired. Your family has to move. And there's really nothing good in it. You, you get criticized constantly. 
And he said, but hey, that's a profession you guys chose. And then he left the stage. If you didn't know Barry, you thought he was out drinking all night. That's how he appeared. Disheveled. Negative. Nothing positive from the talk. Well, Howard Mudd was next on the agenda. And he pushed his notes aside. And he spoke from the heart about why it's an honor and a privilege to coach and how it's the greatest thing a man can do to give to others. That was Howard Mudd, brilliant, passionate leader, believing in the game. And I'm going to miss you, Howard. Well played, coach.